Conroy seems to be in a good mood. It wasn't me. Um, what's just happened? I found you, little Fuzz Fuzz. Don't worry, I'll bring you back to Conroy. <laughs> Root wax? Why doesn't this damn thing work? That idiot probably broke it. I'm sure she's not talking about me. <clears throat> if I ever see that imbecile again, I'll kill him. I hope she's not talking about me. The pigeon thief. I don't want her to notice me. Dratted pigeon. Peck, stop clowning around. I have to focus here. I would rather not want to disturb her then. Lots of odds and ends. All junk. Conroy's index finger. He likes to point to things. The last guy that tried to steal his index finger is still in jail. There are so many levers here. The label says Conrad's Super Glue. Mix with solvent, shake and glue. Way too heavy. The cork came. I will keep it for a special. Huh? <laughs> Ottilie's liquor is as good as solvent. Cork fits perfectly. Ah, a map of Asposia. I used to think the world only consisted of the throne hall, but then Conroy finally let me into the backyard. No, Laura would notice me. Tells the play's plot. I'll put some glue on the hand. The net is sticking to the hand. <clears throat> what do you think you're doing? Mm, 
I snatched the little phosphos from you. Almost. Wow. I'm so impressed that I'm going to continue to ignore you. I won't stand idly by while you steal Conroy's pendant and, uh... My father built that phosphos. Conroy stole it from him. But, uh, Conroy would never do that. Boy, how naive are you? Come on. Please. Maybe it's just stuck? Why? Why won't it glow? <laughs> hey, don't cry. I can cry whenever I want. If you want it to glow, you just have to... Look here. Give it to me. <clears throat> Daddy. Laura, I hope you'll watch this. I'm deeply sorry, my girl. I had no idea what Conroy was planning. I... Laura, listen to me carefully. The only way to stop Conroy. Laura, you must... No time left. In the root forest. To save the wind. Without the flute. We're running out of time. In the root forest. Ah! 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 Leave ah! it. Take care of the others. Ah! Rimanepo, old friend. What's going on? A little souvenir you've got there. Guards, take him to the chamber. Laura! This will forever remind me of today, the most beautiful day of my life. <sighs> what a strange nose. He always said I was the only one. What has Conroy done? He lied to me. <gasps> Robert, excellent work, my boy. Without you, we would never have found her. You scumbag! What have you done to my father? I know exactly! Guard! You've always said that the Phosphos reminds you of the best day of your life. I am sorry you had to find out this way, Robert, but there are no greeting cards for such things. Robert, come here. We both know you can't get by on your own. No. I mean, yes. I mean, yes, I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> root forest, root forest. Okay. Okay, flute nose. Grab hold and put on the helmet. It could get dangerous. What <laughs> I need that flute nose. I really don't think that he will be coming back, sir. I was really only referring to his nose. What exactly are we looking for? My father talked about the root forest in the film. Did you not listen? Well, I was slightly distracted by the screaming Aspersions and the Basilians. The place where the film was made has to be somewhere here in the forest. But the root forest is huge. And scary. We have to start somewhere. Don't you want to know the secret behind the petrified flute noses? Well... Of course. Let's go. Yeah, okay. I, I was just going to say that. Um, well then, let's go. Stop. There's a trap there. Where? Oh, yeah, I knew that. I just wanted to... Oh, 
Yeah, right, Flute Nose. I'm going to find another way into the forest. You stay here. Act petrified. And above all, don't touch anything. As if I couldn't handle this trap by myself. <laughs>